In this video, we will learn how to find the distance between two points using the distance formula. So to get started, let's pick two points on the coordinate plane and try to find the distance between them. I'm going to pick the point 1, 2 and the point 6, 6. Now, if we're trying to find the distance between those two points, what we're really trying to do is find the length of this line segment because the shortest distance between two points is a line. Now, the distance formula looks pretty complicated. It says the distance is the square root of the difference of the x-coordinates, x2 minus x1, squared, plus the difference of the y-coordinates squared, y2 minus y1 squared. But once you know how to use it, it's not too bad. The first thing you want to do is figure out the distance of the x-coordinates. So to do that, if we have it plotted on our grid, we're really just trying to figure out how long is this distance. That will be our x2 minus x1. And y2 minus y1 will be the vertical distance, the vertical change. So it's like when you're finding slope, finding delta y and delta x, or your rise and your run, the same idea. So x2 minus x1 will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we also could have gotten that by looking at the coordinates themselves. The x coordinates are 6 and 1, and 6 minus 1 equals 5. Now, to get our y2 minus y1, we would count how many squares we have to go up, what is our vertical distance, and that's going to be 4. And again, we could also get that by looking at the y coordinates 6 and 2 and subtracting those. So y2 minus y1 equals 4. So now if we want to plug these things into our formula, at this point we have d equals the square root x2 minus x1, that's just 5, so 5 squared plus y2 minus y1, that's just 4, so 4 squared. And if we keep going to simplify, we get d equals the square root of 25 plus 16, and again, keep going, add together 25 plus 16, and you get 41. So that means that the distance between those two points is the square root of 41, which is approximately 6.4. So anytime you're trying to find the distance between two points, you can use this formula. And what I want you to remember is it's not as complicated as it looks. This looks pretty complicated with x2, x1, squared, square roots, a lot of stuff going on. However, if you think about drawing in a little triangle, figuring out your delta x, because that's really just what x2 minus x1 is, is your delta x. Figure out your delta y, that's what your y2 minus y1 is. And square both of those numbers and add them up and square root it, and you'll have the distance between those two points.